Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Out of the ordinary, we're going for a stroll on this lovely, crazy Thursday morning. I'm about to fall down the stairs. And the park is uh, all ours. Daddy, how do you feel? Cool. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go for a nice stroll and I don't know, just do what people do when they stroll. <laughs> It's <laughs> getting steamed. <laughs> it got superpowers. <laughs> We're gonna go find some birdies and some flowers. Oh, is that from the wind? Ay, ay, ay. Point out we've lived in Bramley for six or seven years, and this is the first time we've gone for a stroll in the park. Flowers. <laughs> flowers. <laughs> so, people, we lived in Rounder, didn't we, before? Back in 2014? Yeah. And we live next to the park, tropical world, the tennis courts. How often do we use them? None. <laughs> and you know, it was like outside the back door, it's free to travel, and everyone pays the bus to go there. So I guess our point, my point would be, I think you might agree, if you've got something in your back garden and it's free, use it. Yeah? I wanna go up there, that looks really cool. I can't even turn this thing around, that's what's annoying. I need to really get out of the proper camera. How? That's a camera. Uh, that's taking photo. <laughs> right? Really? We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Video? We're gonna go in here. Looks really cool. We have never been down here. The amount of times we've been to the park, we've never been down here. Come on, Noah, let's go find the ogres. <laughs> and the trolls. <laughs> Birdies! <laughs> Noah! We'll do it together. Oh, another tree branch that's gone. We had a lot of bad wind recently. Um, personally, I think we've experienced it before, but apparently it's the bad we've had for a while, so I don't know. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> and yeah, there's a lot of trees that have been uprooted, and yeah. Guys, I don't know anybody who appreciates this kind of stuff, but only these people. Why? Wait, Daddy, huh? As I was saying, I'm not one who's like particularly keen on artwork really I don't really get it I appreciate it but I don't get it but honestly this doesn't look half bad if you painted this it'd look even cooler Noah hi <laughs> daddy you look like you're trying to be undercover <laughs> are you following someone <laughs> you've got your phone ready to take a picture <laughs> gonna go hide <laughs> I need a big tree with a big <laughs> God. Where is he? <laughs> no, <I> hide. <laughs> We're hiding behind the bush. Hi. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> In the wilderness, we come across a creature unknown to man. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> we'll get you. <laughs> More ages than me, mate. Fell over. Okay, so, a little bit ashamed to say, I've never been back here. Sorry if it's bad lighting, but I'm on my phone. It's like a football pit, a rugby pitch. Huh. So for all purposes this is at the back of the park 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 right let me just make one thing clear I'm all for graffiti 
if it's nice looking, cool looking, if it's got a vibe to it, you know, something artistic. But when you just write crap, it's just not worth it. I really, I really, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I lie. Well, it was dark in my defense. Yeah, okay, so before COVID hit, this is where the Bramley bonfire would be. But we never came up because it was always gated. <laughs> yeah, you're right. One time. Well, we kept, well, you'll get me, okay, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't know if anyone agrees with me out there. Comment down below if you think so. But I think that youths need somewhere to go to express themselves. There's not a lot of community centres, not a lot of youth centres nowadays. I think if they had somewhere to go, they wouldn't be so meddlesome. And that's my true belief. We all used to be teenagers, so we all know it's like to be bored as hell. At least in the Philippines where Daddy's from, you've got arcades galore. You just go to the mall or whatever, but here... I mean, there's not even a lot of places for kids to go. Apart from a park. <sighs> you know, in the Philippines, they, my God, the, the, the shopping malls, they have places to take kids, you know? I tend to fall to the camera. <laughs> but yeah, they have, like, literally have... I suppose we would call it a daycare centre, basically, but yeah, we that they have, like, a shopping mall, and they might have maybe three or four shops that would be made into a daycare place where, in a nice way, the parent can drop off the kid, kid has fun, contact details are left, it's only that child, that person that picks up the child basically is a safe day, obviously. Mum goes shopping, does what she wants, goes back to the kid, everyone's had fun. I think that's great. I think we should have that here because imagine that is so much fun, you know. Mum gets to have a bit of rest when she's got with the child. Child gets to have fun, probably go to her nap afterwards. It's still safe. I've been there myself, my kids have been in there. I was a bit skeptical because obviously I've never experienced that before, but do you know what I mean? I mean, anybody that's from the UK or any other countries, I don't know what's it like in your country it comes to that kind of thing. But I really personally think if, if, if you just had more, if Tia just had more places to go, like, like for instance, this wall behind me, okay? I'm surprised that it's actually not got graffiti on it. But, well, it has at the end, actually, I've just seen. But honestly, if you gave them the wall and said, look, you've got to do whatever the hell you want on it, but it's your wall. Yeah, there might be a suit, a few silly little pictures, but give them something to express themselves with. Do you know what I mean? You know, give them some, a lot of people like dancing nowadays. Have somewhere where they can go dancing. You know, karate or whatever. But one pointer, don't make it expensive because people can't afford stuff nowadays. Like it or not, you might be fed up with hearing it, but the cost of living is going up whether like it or not. And it's, we're struggling. People that are already on the breadline are struggling. I know lots of people that are struggling. And it's becoming a thing where having a, you know, feeding your kids compared to feeding the whole family is becoming a, a decision to make every day, you know? Anyway, um, I didn't mean to make this political, but yeah, let's go see where they've gone because they've left me. <laughs> but yeah, if you think, if you agree, comment down below or give it a thumbs up on this vlog. Because I'm, I'm an optimistic person and I don't believe that all kids are troublesome. Some of them are, but a lot of them just need somewhere to go. Okay, taking me somewhere to kill me or and bury my body. Guys, I have no idea. Daddy, just promise me one thing. If you do kill me, upload the video. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Oh wow, we actually went that far. Um, Daddy. All right, so I'm gonna go because my child is asking me to come. Uh, hey, hang on. This is actually a school, so I'm gonna try and make sure that there's no other kids in here, but. Daddy, this is no longer Bradley Park. <laughs> Are you some kind of entrepreneur that you're on the fire? <laughs> I run for your life. <laughs> I said run, not dig, you donut. <laughs> Where's Noah? There he is. Where's Noah? You do it? Oh, oh, run! 
I found Bigfoot. Right there. <laughs> Here. Documentation. What? You only hold hands with me when nobody's about. Yeah. <laughs> Noah's off on his own. <laughs> Aina, no, not man. What is that? A mixture of Bramley and Farsley? Pads, put Patsy, Pudsy. <laughs> we should just come here on bonfire night. <laughs> And you're gonna be here all day. Don't you look so happy? Come on then. Keep going. And who does the washing? Me. <laughs> you're gonna be dizzy as hell. Not too much. She's gonna chuck up, man. Just for parental advisory, he's enjoying this. Go on. Go this way, What? Shocking, by the way. At some point, you'll go on your own. <laughs> Them just fly off. <laughs> it's a mouth here. <laughs> It's gonna go to air uh, space in a minute. Uh, yeah. Daddy. Too much, Daddy. Ah, where is? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Where's no one is? Where's no one is? No. Where is he? Now, uh, did you enjoy that? 
Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I can't do it. Hey! How much is a bag of chips? Reply to that, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is just a random thing for me to do this morning, but I decided to go for a walk with Daddy for one-off, because he's always wanting me to get out of the house, so I thought, why not? One off. And it's a nice morning. Make it every day, man. So, this is what I have to deal with, people. But yeah, so it's just one off well, for now. One off. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you agree with anything that I said in this vlog, <laughs> nobody agrees with one off. Like it. <laughs> I won't like it. You never do anyway. <laughs> he literally just plays my videos and just lets it play so that it's played. That's how, how, yeah, I'm gonna edit that bit. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the views because that was Bramley area basically, Bram Park. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. As always, share to your friends and family if you thought the views were great or you enjoyed watching it. So that they can visit Bramley Park. So they can visit Bramley Park, yeah, by all means. Um, and subscribe! Do you want to tell them? There's a tennis court and basketball court in there who wants to play. I'm supposed to be finishing this, not giving more information. <laughs> I'll see you later guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.